yeah I'm gonna get a coffee are you morning everyone welcome back to my channel we are in Berlin if you follow along with our travel videos you'll know Berlin is one of my favorite cities as well as Alan's who is obviously here on this trip with me um I didn't vlog that much yesterday we actually arrived yesterday so that's why we're up bright and early today it's just gone eight and I mean it's beautiful look at the sky how beautiful is that it's due to be around 28 degrees today we're heading for breakfast um, but yesterday I didn't vlog much, we were up from the crack of dawn, literally like half three. That's how you get those cheap flights. You wake up at half three and head to the airport straight away. Um, so we kind of just mooched around Prenzlauberg, which is the area we are staying in, in an Airbnb. I love Airbnb, you guys know this, if you follow along usually. Um, and Prenzlauberg is one of our favourite like locations to stay. It's absolutely beautiful, but there's a lot going on here. It's got a really, really nice, calm, but very cool and current vibe going on. So definitely worth checking out. And yeah, I'm gonna fill you guys in on what we did yesterday now. It was mainly me filming what we ate, but the food was so delicious that I need to share it with you. However, if you've seen our previous vlogs in Berlin, you would have seen those places already. But anyway, here goes to yesterday. This ice cream is great, really affordable as well. It was one euro for a small scoop, it's starting to melt, so I'm going to eat it. Oh, this is pretty good. Oh, Alan just said it was 160. It's still very affordable. I got white chocolate, macadamia with salted caramel. Delicious. The station is so beautiful. Look, look at the detail on it. So we're just going to pop into this magazine shop, Rosa Wolf. For dinner we've come to Babel. Um, everywhere we go I'm going to put in the description box by the way guys. It's Lebanese, we've got chicken shawarma with some chips, there's different sauces and salad and then we've got like a little wrap. This is amazing, we came here last time we were here, so worth coming back to. If you like Lebanese food this is a great option. So that's what we ended up eating yesterday. Like you can see Alan still stopped behind me taking a picture. Um, we're gonna be taking a lot of pictures today. Alan doesn't know, but I have actually got a plan for us later this evening to go to Panorama Punct. I'm trying to speak quietly because I haven't told Alan what we're doing yet. Um, it's basically this incredible viewpoint that I got as a recommendation on Instagram, which is fantastic. I love recommendations like that. Um, thank you so much for that recommendation. I actually, follow you and love your Instagram. I love seeing your travels and where you go to, so this was a great tip and Alan is gonna absolutely love it for the pictures. It basically is gonna give us, I realize I didn't say, it's basically gonna give us like an aerial view of Berlin, which is gonna be so good. If you've never been to Berlin, I'm hoping you're gonna be enjoying these street views. I'll get a lot of these for you guys whilst we're here. To cross in Berlin, you just whack this thing it's already doing it but basically you would just whack that and then it will start letting you know when you can cross can you guys see the little Berliner man as well so this city is covered in graffiti and street art and from comments from you guys before I know some of you are really hit or miss about that um, we really like it, it really adds to the feeling and vibe of the city. And this is where we're going to be having a coffee and some cake, like a little pastry or something for breakfast. So, we've got our breakfast, I've got an avocado loaf, cappuccino, Alan's got a latte, and then you've got a slice of lemon loaf as well, haven't you? It's really good. It's nice and moist as well. So many leaflets and stickers always stuck on the different traffic lights. Again, just something which I feel like adds to the city. Some people could look at this and think it's messy. I don't know what the locals think of it, but to me it's all about the character of the city. 
Oh, it's so sunny. Alan and I are trying to work out how much of a percentage we work in the year and how much we have off. So we've worked out, because Alan gets a lot more holiday than me. Um, but we've worked out that I work, what, 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 what is it, like 70% of the year? Yeah. Yeah, 70% of the year I'm working. I think that's not too bad. Yeah. And what is it for you? 60. Uh, 60. 60%. So I get 40% holiday, 60% work. Wow, that's so good. Alan's yeah, yeah, got, really yeah, yeah. got really good holiday. Um, no, I, you get 36% um, holiday. So you work 36% holiday. 64. So, okay, that's not too bad. Sometimes the bike lanes aren't fully clear here. No. So if you notice there's like a different texture or colour to the pavement of where you're walking, um, do bear in mind that that's probably going to be a cycle lane. You can see how it differs. Um, this one differs in colour, which does make it a bit more obvious. So we've come in through a little side entrance and already it's so much being sold. We've got some jewellery over here, different bits of furniture, typewriters. So there's a lot here. You could come and spend, you know, a whole morning here. It smells really good as well. Just to give you an idea of how it smells, we've got some people selling different like herbs and incense. So you can really smell a lot of that. I'm guessing this is all kind of like, just look through and see what you find kind of thing. So many different clothes available. So we have left Mao Park. We we're only in there for about an hour. They, I think they're refurbishing, well, like redoing the landscape of half of it. So it's a bit smaller this time. Um, but what we're going to do is kind of just like get a drink now in the local supermarket, and then go and sit in the park in the shade, and maybe for about an hour until we're hungry for lunch because I definitely want to get lunch in there best falafel place in there oh my god I'll show you guys but I wanted to talk to you a bit about the wall in the meantime so as you can see all these poles behind me they signify how many people died trying to cross the wall um, and it goes the entire way down the street so as I mentioned now park was like on the border of the wall um, and if you want to if you're in Berlin and you see this on the floor where it's like kind of two bits of concrete that signifies where the wall would have been. So as you can see, it would have come the whole way across here. And then they've put poles going the whole way down the street. Um, and it goes really far, signifying where the wall would have been. And there's a pole here for each person that got murdered trying to cross it. And we actually did a tour um, a couple years ago now and found out that there is a flat just down here and there was an old lady who was trying to escape out of the flat to cross the wall when they were building it and sadly she died trying to do it and I think she might have been you know, in her 80s or something like that and there's another story about someone who was quite young maybe in their 20s again just from these buildings here trying to cross and again being murdered so really really sad um, and I think they've commemorated it well you know you're never going to forget about this and the effects that wall can have because it's constantly no matter where you go in Berlin if you're going to be near somewhere near where the border is they've acknowledged it um, so just a reminder there of why we do not want walls also I've shown this in my previous vlogs when we've been in Prenzlauberg but here is a picture of everyone from this side of the wall in Prenzlauberg trying to cross once they knocked part of the wall down in 1989. And then again, all here they've got like pictures and information about when they were building the wall. I'm gonna show you guys again, just in case you haven't seen the previous vlog or maybe you have and you find it just as interesting as me. So, you know, want to see it again. But this is the progress of it. First it was barbed wire and guards and then they started to build it. You can see how it looked. Literally just, just by where we were just standing. You can see the wall there. And then here is when they knocked a bit of it down to pass through. 
so it's very busy now. This is our lunch spot. It is so good. Falafel. Wow, look how many feet there are, guys. This is crazy busy. Falafel jamming. Everywhere we're going, I'm going to put in the description box, by the way. But literally so good. Vegetarian, with fresh salad, and pickles. Yum. So Alan's got his with bloomy. Oh, it looks so good. Look at this. This is what dreams are made of. Falafel, hummus, tomato salad, pickles. Look at the colour of those pickles. That is beautiful. So we've come up all these steps. Sitting under a tree. We've got a little live concert going on. This is just opposite Mile Park in the park area. sitting in Mile Park watching like different singers and entertainers for maybe three hours. The time went so fast that it was really relaxing. Super nice. And now we're gonna head back to Pa where we got ice cream yesterday because we are feeling the heat now. It's actually really nice on this side of the street. It's quite shaded but ice cream is a must. And it's very social here especially with outdoor areas in Berlin. You can see how busy it is. Such a beautiful street. So it's now past four and I'm pretty sure, weirdly enough, it feels like the hottest part of the day. So we got changed. As you can tell, I'm even though it's black, this is a lot cooler because it's just like an oversized shirt dress. So it's much more flowy and I just feel cooler in it already. Just have to stay out of the sun because obviously the black will attract it. Um, and Alan also got changed as well. Alan got changed too. He picked up these shorts literally just now in Mauer Park. They're really cool. Gorgeous shade of like, hmm, is that like a turquoisey green? So I think just to have a drink, we're going to go in the Plattegarten, which is a beer garden. And actually, this is somewhere that has been on our list to come to um, for the past year, but we didn't didn't come last time. Oh, this is gorgeous and so relaxing. Such a good little summer getaway. So we're just getting our metro tickets. It's 560 for two single tickets. There we go. We need to activate it, right? Validate it. There we go. So we are heading to Potsdamer Platz. Sorry about my accent if you're from here and you're hitting your head against a wall whilst they say that. Um, to go up the Panorama Punkt, which is like a viewpoint. We're really excited. Got my big camera with me for pictures. So it should be really good. So here it is, this brown building in between these two very modern glass ones going up there. Apparently it's 24 floors in the lift and it takes 10 seconds. So I imagine our tummies are going to go whoosh. Should be open. Entrance is this way. Okay, we've passed the entrance. Yeah. So those of you that want to do this too, if you come here, the entrance is actually on the other side of the building. So we're going to head in now. It's a Sunday today and it's open till 8 guys, so um, it has got different summer and winter times, so worth checking online when you come. Okay, we're heading back out as soon as we walked in. Are you in with me? This is a bit of a heady door. Okay, so we went in and came out because it is cash only. Now we're looking for a cash machine. It's definitely like a city type area, very businessy. You can just tell by all of these buildings. Um, so there must be a bank pretty near us. Here's that shader bit I was telling you about. And then here it says Berliner Wall, 1961 to 1989. So we've got our tickets, it's 7.50 each, and then if you're a student, it would be six. Wow, this is making me feel pretty high up. You can see the street is down below. Such a good breeze up here for a hot 
beautiful day. Oh, this is good. Also, I think what's cool about doing something like this in a city like Berlin is this is one of the highest buildings, so we can see rooftops for miles. Whereas somewhere like New York, there would be, you know, a lot of buildings, maybe not as high as where the viewing points are, but still pretty high. So this is really cool. So we were on the top floor up there. Actually, you cannot get a very good view up there of the needle from down here. Look at that. the whole way around so that you know what you're looking at but I would highly recommend this I'd give this a 10 this is fantastic and for the amount it is as well this is a must visit for great views it's recording okay perfect so for dinner we've got somewhere new what's it called that? Cairo? I think I can't see the here I'll show you guys what it's called I think it's called Cairo it's Caillou or Rai Caillou I think Caillou it's Japanese food like Japanese Ah yes, Caillou. Yeah. There we go. It's Japanese food, like Japanese grill. Looks delicious. So far we've just tried the edamame, which is so nice. There's steam and some salt on. We've got some different meats. We've got some rice. It's good. Excited? Good. Yeah. Yeah, let's go eat. In. Well, dinner was delicious. I'd give that a 10 out of 10. I would go back and we're walking home. Look at this sunset. So, is it going to focus on it? Hold on a second. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. So we are now sitting on a bench. Alan's having a beer. We're just going to have people watch for the rest of the evening. It's around... So, do you think it's nearly nine? Yeah, it is. It's nearly nine. Look how light it is. No, it's past nine. It's past nine. Yeah. What's the exact time? Nine, eighteen. 9.18 and it stays light here pretty much past 10. It is similar in London but I think it does stay lighter a little bit longer here. But I'm going to end the vlog here guys. I'm not going to be vlogging tomorrow just because we're going to be pottering around just for like the first half of the day and then head to the airport in the afternoon. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this lovely Sunday with us and of course seeing what we ate yesterday just so that you guys get lots of food recommendations in case you want to come to Berlin yourself. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, I'm sure it will be a London vlog or something like that. I'm sounding a little bit bunged up. I had a really bad hay fever earlier today. My eyes have been streaming for hours, so I think it's hay fever anyway. So that's why. Okay, I'm going to end it here. I hope you're all having a really nice day. And I hope that maybe this has made you want to plan your own trip to Berlin. This is one of our favourite cities. It's just got such a great energy about it. and always feels very relaxing. Anything you want to add, mister? Nope. Nope. Okay then. Bye.